Alrighty, time to play Albert Odyssey 2. Um, for the SNES, of course. Um, this game is interesting as fuck, so... I've played it too many times, but I've never beat it. Uh, I've been playing Metro, Metro 2033 and Last Light, so hopefully I've, I've actually beat those both, both of the games. I haven't really beat too many games, just Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred uh, Cards or whatever for the GBA. That's the only game I've really ever beaten ever in my life. Um, so I'm going to try to hear and um, beat uh, Albert Odyssey 2. Um, this game is extremely hard, no harder than Albert Odyssey 1 though. So if I can manage this, uh, you should, we should be fine. Um, I got my controller on hand, so easier gameplay, hopefully. So we're being under attack is basically what's going ha um, happening right now. Um, we're always being attacked by the red units, uh, even from uh, Albert Odyssey 1. They consist to attack us. I figured I need to actually beat something besides a 3D game. I've already beaten two Metro. Both Metros. Metro is a good fucking game, yo. Go check that out. Especially Last Light. I've been hooked. I just don't like how you have to constantly switch between um, fighting actual soldiers to fighting the actual Metro monsters. Um, but you get used to it. Fighting those zombies and stuff. Gotta get the fuck out of here, we're going down! So this game is hard, I'm gonna have to grind, do lots of stuff, but uh, I'm ready for it. Yeah, really, it's in Japanese, unfortunately. I don't know if there's ever English translation, but um, can't really talk during these cutscenes. But it's better to watch them, anyways. So, um, we gotta go check out the injured, go help the injured, which is the princess from some other land breathing a message to us. So that is our partner, our, our knight partner, Dean. He's actually very powerful. I will actually get in more in depth about him later on in this episode. Alrighty, so uh, here comes the actual combat of the game. Um, everything plays out in the, the grid format. 
Um, so, fuck it right there, I guess. Let's go ahead and launch the first attack. Oh. That did not go well. Any injuries we sustain through this battle won't really make a difference. Um, unlike Alba Odyssey, I don't think you can like attack twice. Oh my god, my controller is acting sticky and funny. Finally, all right, let's see this guy. When you do level up, you do recover all your health and mana points. God damn it. There you go. Dodge twice. Seems we're gonna have to change something here. Okay, we're back. I just had to restart one moment. I did fuck up. So, I want to go right there, and uh, actually, and, uh, I say, we actually, let's, um, So I do have a, I do actually have that many golds. It's actually a cheat, a gold hack. Um, but it's best to let them come loot to us. That way we have the better attack advantage. Oh damn, I didn't do it on, on time that time. So yeah, you can actually press A sometimes and it will actually make your um, guy either um, either basically dodge or you can still counter attack. Like here is good. Um, go for it. Bow. God damn it. Forgot that never works. He does have another.
There you go. I apologize about the audio quality. Nothing I can honestly do about that. Um, he does have a second ability. Go ahead and actually try that out. So, there we go. Um, so while we're at it, I can go ahead and talk about um, Dean's abilities as a knight. Um, Dean, uh, he can uh, charge an enemy with uh, his willpower. Um, that's really about it. He does have a screeching attack. Um, well, he also has a uh, Disorder and a Screeching Attack. I think one makes the sword sparkle, which I think is that's the Disorder one, and the Screeching Attack makes him like jump high and slash, like you said. Um, he does have Charge on Enemy. I've also just said that, but um, let's go ahead and get old boy here into some action. See if he is ready to fight. There you go. Now all that's left is the wizard. Probably gonna be the hardest guy to take down because he has ice magic. But we're gonna drag uh, Dean out here. I'd say right about there is nice. Uh, we're gonna have to use his magic attack. Bam! So that's his distorted attack. Does a little bit higher amount of damage. Not too much, but effective. And there you go. With our first level up of the game. You do want to level up your most powerful characters first. He unfortunately is quite useful, um, Dean is really quite useful. Our next um, ally that we're going to be picking up in part 2 of this, um, he's going to be coming in handy a lot too as we go to um, Colt Town or Coat Town, Colt Land. Um, but yeah, that's, that's for part 2. Can't spoil too much now. But yeah, that's the Maiden and uh, the Queen, the Messenger. That's actually the king right there. I think that is. Not not too sure myself. Just guessing. I'm just going to heal him. Just enough for him to stay alive, but unfortunately. Doesn't look like she's going to make it. And so Dean is having a little sad moment. I'm just playing. Now it's time to get going. Alright, so now where I want to go is to the inn, which I think is right across here. Go have a little talk with this guy. Um, yeah, actually, I do want to save. Alrighty, after we do that, 
Dean comes in there, joins our team again. He wants us to unfortunately go talk to somebody. The king has summoned us. Yes, that was the king. As I thought. So we have uh, the high council has regards for us. They want us to actually go over to Shibiris, uh, which is the next town over. It's actually a town that Albert was actually born in. Um, so if you ever played Albert Odyssey 1, you start off right there in that town. So our mission has to commence. And there goes the Red Army. So we are actually being under attack right now. And there goes our my favorite captain, Zard. Zard is just dummy, dummy, just like funny and overpowered. Advance the knights. Yeah, Zard is overpowered. He just destroys all of our guys. It's funny because we're kind of wearing red too, but we don't represent the red army, unfortunately. Fortunately, actually, because they seem like bastards. But there is a red theme going on in this this little area with us. Yeah, there's a lot of conversation right now at this scene or at this moment. But it's fine, to be honest. So let me know what you guys think about the thoughts on the Arbor Odyssey and stuff. It's a really good game, especially the Saturn version. I never really played that one, but Alright, that one takes a really big step to differ from um, the normal Albert Odyssey series, which there really isn't that many of them. But they're all good games, being strategy tactic games. Story is good, unfortunately, I cannot read it to you guys. But if you found the translation of this, you, it, you probably want to uh, check that out, most definitely. Um, I would say head to the shop. Um, yeah, actually, I want to see if I can change orders here. Okay, so I know I may have to buy them armor. Hopefully the strongest of the strongest. Unfortunately, this is not the shop to do so. This is just for uh, my preferences to get everything. Uh, one of everything. Because, uh, Items do come in handy. Most definitely. Okay, now I need to find where uh, the weapon shop actually is. Which I'm not. Okay, I think it's up top. I forgot actually how to get over there. I'm supposed to be going to Albert's house. Albert's, yeah. To speak to his mother. This is his thing. Where the fuck is the weapon? I could have swear they had one here. I could have, could have I absolutely swore they had one. I guess not. Alright, fuck it. I feel like a complete dumbass now. 
Um, alrighty. So if you're wondering what that uh, other place was. Not this place. <laughs> that hammer place was, that is not a weapon shop. This place is an armor repair shop. I think they have like weird items. Here, you can't really do nothing here though. As of now. Oh yeah, this is the weapon shop. Okay. I feel stupid. I continue to continue to make myself look stupid. Alright. I can't tell if I actually bought two. Okay. This is this was a good shield. the money for it all. Let's, uh... I don't think any of us have uh, gloves. Both these type of boots. So what's happening right now is also I'm also a uh, trading boots and selling them, but uh, that should be good enough. Now I'd like to go ahead and check out. So far, our equipment. Um, yeah, okay. We looked, we looked equipped. That's all I can say. Um, let's actually check my. I do need to stay at an end though. I am unfortunately injured. I think it's select. One of those buttons let you uh switch between who's in front. That's fine. Five gold it is. So we'll be ending this episode here. Um and we'll be going south uh, back to we'll, we'll be we'll be leaving right about now and i'll show you where we'll be going to uh, yeah. go to the fields Go ahead and get that quick save going. And so I can't show it from here, but we're gonna be going. Well, yeah, actually, I can't. We're gonna be going right there to that city. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed part one of Albert Odyssey 2. If you guys have much to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And uh, when we come back with uh, part two, uh, fuck. Well, well, you guys already know. Till next time, friends. Bye bye.